what up gamers agents and friends this is normally a division channel but making content is like uh, beating the glue out of a dead horse at the moment so today's video is going to cover an upcoming game called exo primal before going in hit that like and subscribe for me let's get it cracking so i'm playing the cross platform beta at the moment thanks to my guy killer rage mentioned it to me the other day so what is this thing well it's nutty as a fruitcake that's for sure the best way I could describe it would be a cross between Division 2, Anthem, and Jurassic Park in the third act where the dinosaurs go rogue. It's a third person shooter, PvP, and PvE combined. It's squad based at least in the beta phase, but I'm assuming it's going to have a solo element to it with the retail release. For Division players, imagine spawning into the White House and instead of walking around looking through trash cans for socks and jackets, you backflip into like one of 12 Anthem style exosuits and then get bum rushed by raptors and a ton of other dinosaurs that I could name maybe when I was in the third grade. You're not here to preserve nature though, no no no. Your job is to send these things back into extinction with some friends. The basic beta model currently available until the 20th, so probably over by now, gave you a taste of two game modes. It's basically two teams running five versus five. The first 80% is like PVE, the final 20 is PVE VP, where you and the other team meet up and try to kill each other while some roided up massive dinosaur, along with every other type of various dinosaur, try to kill you all. So what do I think? I think it's pretty goddamn fun. Although the bait is just a tiny aspect of the retail release, it has what I like so far. Third person view for a shooter, a good looking sci-fi element, and a fast pace. The exosuits are unique and each has its own type of class. You have the normal tank, healer, rifleman, sniper, etc. But unlike the Division 2, you can change these on the fly. Not only that, but you can unlock different specialty weapons that can be equipped on each type of suit. I guess it's comparable to running a sniper specialization in the Division, but with the ability to hot swap to a crossbow while still keeping all the perks that came with the sniper. So this feature alone makes the PvP aspect pretty fun. Not only is it 5 versus 5, but unlike the Division, you have exciting weapons with unique and obvious traits that can be switched in combat if need. For all its magical talents, the Division guns still just fire bullets at different speed. This concept has a lot of potential, especially in the PvP aspect. But it's one thing to have a 5v5 match in the traditional sense, but when a rabid T-Rex or some other huge dinosaur gets thrown into the mix, some choices will need to be made. You may have to work together to deal with the dinos between trying to prepare another player for a teabag. I think this is another example of a game that saw what people liked in the division and simply decided to give players not only that, but some actual excitement and real variety. Keep in mind, all my opinions are based on the beta. The full scope of the game is unknown until July 14th. But if this is the baseline, it does seem pretty entertaining. When I tell people the division for me is dead in many ways, some people say to play something else. The problem I have with many other games is that they're generally a campaign run and then boring, or they're first person, or set in some magical realm or ancient Japan, so they usually lack something I'm looking for. This is what had me trapped in the Division 2 universe for so long. So let's talk weapons. In my first few days of play, I saw my weapons level up each session, meaning they simply got stronger the more I used them. Contrast that with the Division, where even using them in the expertise system gave you no actual benefit. It was just a completely pointless grind fest. Once you got it up to proficient, then you could increase its damage by 1% at a time by paying an arm and a leg. This is much more engaging and gives you more bang for your time in game, at least in my opinion. Even in the beta, I had access to a ton of different suit styles as well as specialty weapons that could be placed on each one in real time. This is basically the spec revamp that the Division 2 has been babbling about for a year. This game just has it. You feel free in this game. In three days, it gave me everything I was missing in the Division 2. They can all be summed up with words like choice, freedom, instant excitement, fast paced, and so on. There is no searching for action by running through a trash filled street looking to bump into some group of assholes you should be on a first name basis with by now. You spawn in, take a few steps, and a wormhole opens and goddamn dinosaurs start pouring out in its pandemonium. So let's talk fresh ideas. They have an escort mission where you and your team need to escort some energy cube through this area for example. This is also a PVE and PVE mode. Both teams are escorting the package to the same location. If you left it, it came to a stop. It was like some charging terminal in the division where you camp on it till it gets full. However, it actually moved through the damn city. 
Imagine how much fun it would be to have something even close to that in the Division. It would be like a resource convoy being a mission. Simple ideas the Division 2 just doesn't have the ability to give players anymore or never thought to give us in the beginning. Imagine it like, Agents, we have a VIP who needs to get from the White House to meet with a contact at the Ivy Tunnel. Even in PvP alone, it would be awesome. Along the way, you get ambushed by whatever. You know, you need to work as a team. Actual content, not some game mode you get sick of doing instantly. It's just a fresh idea for anybody in the division. It would be something to come back to. All this stupid season stuff where you get some new rifle and you do the exact same mission, but this time it's called Manhunt and they cut it in half, it's garbage. The Division 2 lacks creativity or funding or most likely both. But when a beta game can take a huge dump all over a franchise like The Division in 72 hours, it really says something. It's no secret that new players keep The Division going, but even for them, the game gets small fast. In hindsight, them adding raid exotics to the DZ was just laughable. They should have just put them in the loot pool for Christ's sake. They really have no idea what the hell they are doing. I mentioned you have to fight dinosaurs, but did I mention you could also summon and control them? In The Division 2 with all its DARPA tech and whatnot, imagine if you could hack an aerial drone, even if it was for a short time, fire missiles down on control points, even if it required a six tier skill build, or two or three players to man it and do it. What if you could hack the dogs and tanks? Just fresh ideas and content. The Division 2 devs really need to open their eyes as they flush Tom Clancy's name down the toilet. With four months until this game drops, I personally can't wait. After three years of running around DC, stumbling across the same enemies and nothing but new guns and new boring grinds, I'm all for this new franchise. I can only hope it delivers even a fraction of what it hints at, because even that blows the division out of the water in its current state. Anyways, guys, let me go ahead and wrap this one up. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to comment and subscribe, leave a like, all that kind of good stuff. The bottom line is I really hope the devs get their stuff together with this franchise because they really are flushing it down the toilet just with a simple lack of new ideas and creativity and content. Anyways, guys, y'all been fantastic. Thank you so much for the support, the likes and the subscribes. Positivity really keeps me going. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Until then, you have a fantastic day, night, evening, all that good stuff. See you around. Bye-bye.